What is happening? This is The Hunt Studio. I'm in my disgusting kitchen. Right? And today, we're gonna unbox nothing, actually. We're gonna unbag something. My art bag, specifically. Not right there. So, diving right in, let's not waste any time. The bag itself is a compu case. Let's see if it'll. Let's see if it'll. So basically, this little bag was originally it was originally a laptop bag, and well, I found it at a garage sale. My wife and I were garage selling one day, and it was just sitting there chilling. And I asked the guy how much he wanted it for, and he told me he wanted a dollar for it. And so we ended up getting a bunch of stuff for like a buck because they were just trying to move. They were getting out of there. So this was a dollar. My wife's chair was a dollar. We got a, a, a piece, a big picture frame for a dollar. Um, so yeah, that's what this, this was. And basically what I was looking for in an art bag, I was having a really hard time finding it. And that was one specific thing. This right here, this is this is my art portfolio. And I mean, it's an art portfolio, right? So I have, I work with a lot of pen and paper, pen and ink type of things. And I needed an 11 by 14 portfolio so that, and the reason I, so basically, I mean, a portfolio is what it is, right? A portfolio is when you wanna present your work, your best work, you put it all in one spot. The idea was all of my art needed to be um, portable. And this right here, in the event that I want to go to an event or want to bring this to the mayor of my town or something, you know, just something, whatever, I want to be able to present this and have it to be able to slide right in the bag. Some prints, right? I keep some prints on hand, you know, I just some, some prints that I made early on and I just keep these for sale, right? I keep these in the bag. And these are for sale on the website. A lot of my, I mean, I've got all kinds of stuff for sale on the website. I've got the prints, I've got stickers, I've got you name it. I got some original art in there. I've got t-shirts and all. So this, just to have something, you know, just in case, I've got one of each, just in case somebody strikes up some interest and wants to buy some art. Basically what my dad says, he, he said it a long time ago when I was a kid, I asked him, if he'd be willing to sell the house. And he told me that anything and everything that I own is up for sale with the right price. We're gonna look at the next compartment here. Um, so we've got this very far back one. And actually, if you can look and you can see that this thing was ripped, right? So it's not a brand new bag at all. Um, I had to modify it. It had a bunch of like padding in here that was just worn to nothing. So I just ripped it all out and this thing was broken, but it's, you know, it still works. So it works for me. So far in the back here, there's like this little compartment here that I don't keep anything in. I keep nothing in, but it can hold some things, I'm sure. Um, it's just, I didn't use it this time around, so we'll never know. Zipper here is just simply to expand. It allows it to expand you know, whenever I put a bunch of stuff in. And I didn't need to expand it, but then I put my sweater in there and then it just kind of got a little, needed a little bit of breathing room. So the next pocket, we're gonna zip, unzip this. And this is where, actually, yeah, let's just unzip this one here. This is where I keep my art supplies and just a bunch of different stuff. So we got one, two, three of these boxes of Spectrum Noir uh, markers, alcohol-based markers. I got three different sets of them. Got this one from Jazza, right? Got the Jazza. Another one to kind of complement those, the colors that it came with, it complemented those. And then I got a skin tone one, right? Um, what can I say about them? Let me pop one open. And I'll just crack them more, right? So it comes with a brush nib, brush nib. Flexi brush nib, which is the only one I use. And it also comes with a bullet nib, but I don't even bother with the bullet nib. So most of the time I just use the brush nib. 
and these things blend well they do well they do great with the work that i need them to do i do my pen and ink work and then i'll come in behind once the ink dries and then do these alcohol based markers and then just yeah all right so the next one some posca pens right some good old poscas these are a thin very thin a 0.7 millimeter nib. Do the makeup thing, right? What the makeup tutorial artists do. Boom, it's a tiny nib, right? And these, I've used a lot of these like to, to the point where they're dry, so I probably should buy more of these because we've had them for a while. Um, the white one's not even in here, but anyway. Next thing is this bad boy right here. This is Another thing from the Jazza um, box that I got that's no longer available, but you can find these specific um, cases from Michaels. You know, this little zip up pouch and I'll show you the inside, the guts. Um, I carry a sharpener for my pencils and eraser right here. And then on the inside is my good pens, right? Some things that I carry on the daily. The, obviously the eraser and the pen sharpener fits here. Got some pencils. I got a, another alcohol-based marker that I use for shadows. When I don't carry the whole set of markers, I just use this one. Some pencils. I got some brush pens. I got a fountain pen here. And then two jelly roll pens. The metallic blue and this white. And this is what I carry if I want to keep it super basic, I'll only carry this as my art supplies, as like, you know, keep it super simple, sketch a little bit, ink a little bit, and just keep it simple. And that's what I've been doing most of Inktober with just what's inside of here. So this sketchbook itself, I have a video of where I made this. I made this by hand, right? And so it's made out of, I'll show you in just a second, but I drew on top of it and then I, hand stitch this in this little clip here is what keeps it it keeps it um, whenever I go to take a picture of a drawing it'll want it'll want to do that number so I'll just clip it down with the binder clip but I've been doing inktober in this and this goes everywhere with me um, this is a pretty standard thing I'll fill this up you know I'll fill probably two of these up every year um, and then I don't know, it's just, it's a sketchbook. It's on hand at all times, within reach, just so whenever I get the urge and I just want to draw, want to make something really quick, simple, really detailed, really whatever, this is what I refer to almost every single time. Handmade sketchbook, cool. Um, let me show you the paper I used. So this right here is a XL Recycled Bristol by Canson. It's a Canson. Bristol board pack of paper. So it's just, you know, again, I got these from Michaels and you can buy these specifically for like $10 a piece. And Michaels always has a deal where they go, they do them half off. Like you buy one, get one half off. And then, so you buy two for like 15 bucks. And so I kept one of them full, you know, like this is the back here. I use this back as the, the book itself, right? So this, and this is the same thing. Um, another pad of paper. Art again. Same thing, except this time the paper is black. Ooh, and this is actually broken. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't I just realize that. Um, so this is black paper, right? And I was thinking about doing a whole sketchbook of black, but I don't draw on this often enough to justify it. It would just kind of sit there and be what it is. Um, and it's, it's a Strathmore one. And again, I got these for, you know, I got it at Michael's and just bought it in a collection of, you know, I bought this one and a different one and just like a tone tan one or something and just whatever. This can be used. The, the way I use this is I come over here, refer to my jelly roll pen. Whoops. So you come over here and you can draw on this and I'll just kind of do a little thing. Ooh. And it shows up, actually it works much better with uh, just the straight gold one without the blue inlay. It shows up a lot better. 
um, but you can see the gold on it, right? I just drew some lines and then the glitter is nice and glittery. So I'll do a whole drawing with nothing but this pen on this paper and it ends up looking pretty cool. The last, the final thing in this bag <laughs> is actually, it's hilarious. Gummy candy, right? How fitting. I love gummy candy. And actually, these aren't my favorite, but these were a gift. These were given to me for free. I prefer Mike and Ike's or Trolley, just the regular gummy worms, the sour gummy worms, things of that nature. Um, yeah, gummy worms. Definitely faux show. Next compartment, actually, we're gonna go to, we're cutting, coming down to the final ends of it, right? So we're, this is the compartment where you can keep pins and stuff. Um, and oh, oh, that's exactly what I keep in here. How convenient. Boom. I've got a USB thumb drive, jump drive, whatever you want to call it. And this is for like, I keep my prints, digital files of prints on here. And what I'll do is I'll go to the shop, um, the FedEx office something. It's uh, over here in Hattiesburg. It's in the store. Um, yeah, so I'll just hand this to them and they'll click a couple of buttons and I'll tell them which one I want printed out and they'll print it out for me. Um, and so it's really, really cool. That's how I make my prints. I go to FedEx and I have them printed out on 100 pound gloss cardstock. Here's another, like I said, a Posca pen, right? This is the, I use the white one. I, I learned how to use these in a way that's satisfying for me. And I like using the Posca pens as highlights. So this one's a bit of a thicker nib and I use it for highlights, just, you know, just whatever highlights on my work and it works for me. I like it, I like the way it does highlights. It's a big boy Sharpie, right? Good old king size, big beefy boy. The metallic Sharpie. So I stay re-upped on my jelly roll pins, right? Uniball vision, come on. It's all like, you know, something I want to just be loose and whatever with, not even think about. That's what I use is this good old ballpoint pen. And another one, here's just another. This one is a Pilot G2. Pilot G2. You know what this is. You've seen this. It's good to, I like to journal with these. I like to scribble with them. Just whatever. I keep a journal on me. Skirt. Okay. These are some runner up items that didn't exactly make it into this specific trip. Like I'm literally unpacking the stuff that I took on this trip with me yesterday. Um, these two different didn't make it in a trip, but if I was going on like a traveling and stay gone all weekend, whatever, these two definitely would come with me. Number one is a journal. This is my journal that I have so far. It's, I don't know. I just put journal entries in it. I write in it. It keeps me from going insane. It actually is a lifesaver. This right here wholeheartedly has saved my life a couple of times, actually. Maybe not this one specifically, but the act of drawing or of, of journaling, you know, same as the sketchbook. So, and then also another runner up, another thing that I would bring with me on a weekend getaway is a book. So this book specifically is geared around getting out of debt. This is Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover. It's the one that I'm currently reading. See, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, getting to where I'm being done with it. I might be, I'm halfway done with it. But anyway, we gotta get out of debt so that we can, you know, this is gonna be my full-time gigs at some point, someday. And we can't keep spending money irresponsibly without, you know, so we're, we're just, we're getting ourselves in check. Now we're gonna be in the front pockets. It comes with two little front pockets now. And let's just open this one. Am I holding that upside? No, that's right. Stickers, I got these in my shop. Feel free to go check them out. And again, I keep stickers and I keep like merchandise on hand just like you would like a business card or like, you know, you've got an opportunity to plug yourself. This is how you do it. You go, hey, yo, I've got a business. I'm an arter. I'm an artiste, right? And would you like to check out my things? And technically I don't have like a store that you can walk into, but I am my walking, I'm a walking 
business, basically. And this bag essentially is my studio or is the studio outside the studio or is like when I walk outside of my home, this is what comes with me and this is, you just always present yourself as what you're trying to become. What's in here? Oh, that's right. I keep in this little side pouch, I keep this little Gerber here, this little multi tool um, for whatever reason, for, you know, um, I know none of these things that I've presented to you now, uh, you would, you wouldn't need a multi-tool for any of these things really. Uh, but you never know when you might need a pocket knife. You never know when you need a Phillips head screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver or a scraper or some pliers, right? So I carry these and it just fits so nicely in this little pouch right here. There's like a little tab, a little pouchy pouch right here and it just fits right in there perfectly. We're gonna call this the last item. These are Skull Candy headphones, right? Why do I have Skull Candy headphones? Why don't I have Apple iPod AirPod headphones? I like, I don't know. I don't know, I like the black ones. I'm not a super picky person. I like to listen to music. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, so to close this video out, this is all of my stuff. Not all of my stuff. I have a lot more over here in our studio, which used to be our bedroom, but now is a studio. Um, we completely tore it up, tore it down as a, as a bedroom and then made it into a studio. I'll show that to you if you want me to, let me know. Um, but yes, these are my things. This is what I carry with me. Ideally, whenever I'm traveling and whenever I want to make art and I don't know, it's an ever evolving thing. It's a, it's a very personal thing and it's just, it's mine. So, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, subscribe, do the whole thing. If you want to buy any of my artwork, thehuntstudioart.com is the place to go. Thehuntstudioart.com is the place to go if you wanna buy anything from me. I do have my stickers, I've got my prints, I've got my original artwork, I've got you can DM me about commission work if you want to do something more personal. Uh, I'm also looking into doing murals. What? I'm going to be starting to do murals one day. I don't know. If you want to collab, let me know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. This is The Hunt Studio. Thanks for checking out my video. Thanks for taking a deep dive into my personal life, a little bit of my personal life. Thanks. I'm going to get out of here rambling. See ya.